Top of the morning, fight fans. This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Anthony Joshua. Get this. According to Eddie Hearn, Eddie Hearn says Anthony Joshua will not retire if he loses the rematch in with Usyk. Some people had suggested that the former two-time heavyweight champion Anthony Joshua will retire from the sport if he loses his upcoming rematch with Alexander Usyk. This line of thinking goes something like this. Joshua, if he is beaten by Usyk a second time, perhaps a stoppage this time, will lose and will all remaining confidence he has left. And Joshua, who sees himself fighting and winning at top level and top level only, will not want to continue boxing. Who knows? Maybe this could be how things turn out. Three strikes and you're out as the saying goes, but Eddie Hearn says that he would be shocked if AJ retired from boxing, even if he did lose to the Ukrainian a second time. Boxing is everything to Joshua. Hearn said in speaking with Into Boxing, and as such, he will be around for a long time. No, I wouldn't be shocked. AJ loves fighting. Boxing is everything to him, Hearn said. When he lost to Usyk, the amount of people in the industry messaged me saying, I think he should retire now. I said, he's just lost to the pound for pound number one or two. He's not had that many fights. He loves the sport and I'm sure he'll be around for a long time, but obviously we'd much rather win. Um, let me counter punch. Anthony Joshua, um, uh, I don't know what it is. People treat boxing like another sport. And it's sickening. And it's, it just shows you how crippling the sport has became when it came to people's perception of losses. They look at losses as like some type of warning sign. Like this is a fucking job. Like a, like a verbal warning. A written warning. And a final written warning. And then you're out of there. It's like it, boxing is not like that. Okay, some of the best fighters have five or six losses. Why? Because those fighters have fought the best fights. So you're looking at a guy with a record of 24 and 2, right, with 19, 20 knockouts like Joshua has. You're looking at the result of a person that has fought the top opposition. For those who have these records that look like fucking uh, a video game, Okay, like Wilder's record used to look and, you know, guys like that, that has no blemishes, it's 30 and 0, no losses, no draws, 30 knockouts, you know, and then you got guys like that that have no losses. Chances are the, the, the team around them have picked their fights for them to the point where that's how the narrative went. It was it was illustrated like that. That's why I love when cherry picks go wrong. But if you have a team around you that picks the right fights, you won't go wrong because that team around you is doing their job. They know, yo, you can get, you can beat this guy. Not only you can beat this guy, you can do it easily without any problem. Very, very, uh, uh, very uh, low risk there. Okay. Very low resistance. All right. That's what you can do. So people get this perception. Oh, three, you're three strikes. You're out. That's what... No. If anything, you look at Manny Pacquiao, you look at Oscar De La Hoya, you look at Fernando Vargas, you look at Roy Jones, you look at a lot of people. And I do really think Roy Jones has, you know, just fought, you know, lost, had too many L's. But to be fair about that, though, you know, Roy showed you how you're supposed to do it. Someone calls you out, fight him. When the pot, when that O uh, fear leaves you or you or you're not worried or you're not imprisoned by it you're not in bondage by it because a lot of people are in bondage by their own damn record they don't want to fight the best because they're worried about losing to the rest bars that's what happens okay so if anthony joshua retires no he's not going to retire that's stupid let me tell you why it's stupid if he retires if he gets stopped by Usyk, i can see the temptation but we forget that this man just signed a deal with the zone to be an ambassador, a chairman, and all this other stuff to be in the sport for how many years? Who knows? But he's getting a hundred million pounds a year for however long. Who knows? Even if it's two years, that's still two hundred million pounds. You know, so let's say it's 2023 and 2024. 
that's 200 million pounds. He's still a very rich man. He's still a very rich man now, probably the second highest paid, okay, behind Canelo. And I'm not really set in stone that Canelo's going to stay the way he is. Depends on how his career settles. But, you know, but 85 million pounds making from one fight and coming into a loss, now he's making 100 million pounds to take on Usyk, I believe it is. No, no. Um, I think it's 50-50 or something like that because they rene renegotiated the terms for Usyk, which was great. But him losing and retiring now, you know that he forfeits the amount of money that he could make. Anthony Joshua is a businessman, so he knows, like, yo, I'm not going to retire just because I got beat by one of the best fighters in the world. No, Alexander Usyk is, pound for pound, because he wasn't an original, a natural heavyweight, okay, professionally. <clears throat> so <clears throat> he moves up. And he takes that number one spot. He's either here him or Terrence Crawford. I don't really care which one is better. I didn't really care when it was Terrence Crawford and Lomachenko. I know Crawford has been more consistent of being one of those pound-for-pound -pound top guys. Okay? But him retiring, no, that would be dumb. He would forfeit all of his money just for him taking an L. That's with three losses. You know, people said the same shit with Dillian White. And it's like, yo, these guys, if they fight the right people, they're going to lose. If you got people that, again, that have these damn perfect records, they're not fighting the, the amount of people, okay? I don't even want to get into that on this video, but use your imagination. So that's what you're dealing with. No, so he shouldn't retire after that. You know, if he gets now, the only way I see AJ retiring is if he gets hurt or he puts himself in a situation where, like, you got a scare, he's knocked out cold. Well, in that case, he needs to take... Uh, some time off and really re evaluate what the hell is he doing because again you know that deal may look good but then again you're in a sport that you can lose your life people die in the ring man so that'll be the only way you know but if he lost like on points or he gets gassed out and gets beat up or whatever it happens it comes with territory you're fighting one of the best in the world so there you go but anyway you guys tell me what you think of Eddie Hearn stating that Anthony Joshua will not retire if he loses to Alexander Usyk. Tell me what you think. Please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.